Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything you have to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. You know, Texas is home to some of the most storied ranches in all the world, and the King Ranch is no exception. Located in the southern part of our state, it's one of the most well-known pieces of property in these parts, and particularly known for its lovely leather. The King Ranch, a South Texas staple that's been a part of the Lone Star State since 1853. Larger than the state of Rhode Island, the ranch is home to over 35,000 cattle, and it's so popular, it's even got its own shop. Saddle shop, that is. I mean, the King Ranch is Texas. It's legendary, it's iconic, and it's, I mean, it's about as Texas as Texas can get. Lance Hancock used to push around people as big as some of the cattle on the ranch during his playing days. What'd you get your degree in? Accounting. Accounting? Yeah. Wow. Math nerd, yeah. An yeah. offensive lineman who can count. Shocking. <laughs> I didn't get a kinesiology degree, you know? Today, he runs the King Ranch Saddle Shop in downtown Kingsville, located near the main gate to the ranch. Did you ever see yourself working in retail? No, no. Still question that every day, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Situated in the John P. Raglan Mercantile Building built in 1909, the site was once the largest department store south of San Antonio, but today it's home to anything and everything associated with the King Ranch. We still eat, sleep, and breathe cowboys and, and ranching and, and outdoor life, and that's who we are and that's who we've always been. If it's going to have our name on it, it's going to be the best. So. We, we, we make sure of that. Some of the most sought after textiles, tumblers, and tax goods can be found here. But the rich smell of lush leather runs through your nostrils like a cattle churning up the Chisholm Trail. Our number one seller in the store is a leather conditioner, believe it or not. The retail side of the store surprisingly got its start when a member of the King Ranch family needed a suitcase, and not just any satchel would do. So this is our Armstrong collection. Uh, this is made out of Cordura canvas. The canvas is actually the same kind of canvas they use on convertible cars. Oh wow. So it's extremely durable. Uh, so this collection has been around for 40 plus years and is always a, a top seller. So this is the one that started it all though. This, this is, is one that started us off into the luggage business, yeah. Now the real roots of this boutique bestowed with bovine go back to a time when supplies were hard to come by. And if you needed something, you had to make it. And when it came to cattle ranching in the 1800s, saddles were sought after. The original saddle shop was on the ranch and, and it was born out of necessity and Captain King couldn't find wares for, for the people that worked on the ranch. That tradition of making saddles continues to this day. And for over 40 years, Roberto Salas has been the man who makes leather into masterpieces. Hey, hey, this is Roberto Salas. Pleasure to meet you, sir. How are you? The world famous Roberto Salas. Man, those are some soft hands for a man working with leather. Just because of the oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what my, my wife said to me. <laughs> oh, you have a nice hand. <laughs> Just because I have the oil. This is a family tradition. We are not working with the assembly line. We are not working with the production line. Saddle for the King Ranch are unique. Roberto takes his craft to the next level. Sometimes the people say, are you make saddles? Sir, I'm working on saddles. I'm working on pieces, piece by piece. He just has a passion and it's been a lifelong passion for him. While he's actually cut down on his time at the saddle shop. Roberto's actually retired, but I begged and pleaded with him and so he works, he still works three, four days a week. Considering how long each saddle takes to create, it's safe to say the saddle shop is a bit shorthanded. 155 working hours, something plain. 185 working hours, if it is, with the fancy flower designs. So four weeks. Four weeks. Whenever you're over there watching him, you ever just sit there and watch his hands work? Oh yeah, all the time. And I go in there and bug, bug him, ask him 50 million questions, you know, because I'm just so intrigued with all the tools and, you know, everything he does is by hand. When Roberto started working in the saddle shop back in 1973, he learned the trade from his father-in-law, Guillermo Rodriguez, who served as the saddle maker before him. I used to see my father-in-law working with me, and now when I work in something like this, it's something special. I feel like my father-in-law is just next to me. That might be because he still is, in a sense, 
You see, not only does Roberto build saddles, he also repairs them. And some of the worn out, broken in saddles that have seen better days were built by the man who taught him everything he knows. This is one of the simple ones. Saddles made by the person, they have identification on the saddle. Like this one over here, I'm working on this one, customer from this community. They have three initials, GGR 511-1960. GGR stands for Guillermo Guevara Rodriguez, my father-in-law, name. The year when he made the saddle, the, the month, the date when finished. Despite his knowledge and expertise, the top of this one is going to be another piece. The family tradition of saddle making ends with Roberto. As the world changes around him, the future of leather artisans learning how to work with their hands is dwindling. I think it goes back to the heritage of the ranch and, and it's a part of who we are, it's a part of who we've been and, and so I think it's vitally important that we have people like him. It's, but I will say it's a dying, it's a dying art. Watching Roberto work is mesmerizing. His hands building, shaping and creating. Keeping the roots of Texas firmly planted while continuing the cattle traditions and cowboy way of the King Ranch. It's like a recipe and the people they need to see that. It's very hard to find people with the passion and the skills that Roberto has and, and it's a, it will be one of our greatest challenges as we go forward. Robert, it's important for us to have a place where to fix the saddle for the King Ranch like they're supposed to. <music>